What's the crack, lads? We are back with the Portugal pack. We've got the pack here, which is going to include a manager, which is Martinez. We also have a couple of in-game level players, or potentially in-game level players. We've got a new version of Cristiano Ronaldo. Does he stack up against the other versions of Ronaldo? I'm a bit torn on that, but we'll get into that. We'll do a few comparisons. We also have Nuno Mendes and João Felix, who are really, really good as well. And of course, we have Pepe, who is a bit of a beast and a bit of a demon. And now this pack is 900 coins. Obviously, it's in the same category as the Turkey, Brazil and English pack. We have all the reviews done of the France premium one, the Argentina premium one, the England one. We are going to be continuing on with the Brazil and Turkey pack. This for 900 coins, lads, honestly, I think it's a really good pack, especially if you don't have any other versions of João Felix, Ruben Diaz, or Pepe. So I'm going to show you the squad here set up, right? I'm going to start and switch up the format a little bit and show you the manager. So obviously we've got a lot of different managers now, but Martinez is down as a manager that is a long ball team playstyle proficiency. So Southgate and the Champs, they have dual playstyle proficiencies, but Martinez only actually has long ball. Now long ball for me, I definitely feel it's a required taste. I don't think that many people use long ball, but if you're looking to have a bit of fun with the game and have a good target man up front or play to Ronaldo, play to his strengths with a lot of crosses, a lot of hold up play, a lot of good bangers of goals, you can create some nice movements with this long ball, even though I don't recommend it if you want to play meta. Most people want to play meta, they're using long ball counter or quick counter with a bit of possession thrown in, okay? Plus one to the physical contact for every player's stat. But also, I want to talk about the 400% increase to experience points. I'm going to be doing a video on that. I don't know when it'll be out, but I'll try and get it out as quickly as possible. Because this is a nice little trick that you can do. We'll get into that in a separate video, right? As for the actual setup as well, you don't have to mess around with sub tactics. Usually when you're playing long ball, if you have the team play style here, it's very direct. You're not that high up when you're defending. It'll be kept low to ensure a steady defense. I actually played with this on stream the other day. It was okay, I kind of steadied the ship a little bit when we were struggling with the gameplay, with the passes and stuff. But obviously, you will probably want to be a little bit more aggressive, pressuring manually and getting the ball back, okay? It's not the best formation or tactical setup if you are just sticking to the traditional 4-2-1-3. But individual instructions can do a bit on that. You can put counter-target on Ronaldo. You can also put counter-target on Rafael Leao if you want. You can even put attacking on one of your DMFs or your CMFs if you wanted to go that route and be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more feisty with the ball. Feisty, baby. But anyway, we've trained up a couple of the players here. We had to go with our boy Pepe at the back. Absolute beast. Diego Costa and Dallo at the back at the back in, in goals here. Don't worry too much about them. Actually quite a solid right back and right midfield hybrid that can play as part of a five at the back, a three at the back, a four at the back, a solid kind of like wing back as well. Good speed, acceleration, stamina. Don't really need to do a build for that. Get him to 85 aggression. Get his acceleration and speed to at minimum uh, 85, speed 90. That'll bring up his stamina, his kicking power for the passing. The rest of the stats you can just put in to attacking and dribbling and whatever you want to do. If you pass more, you can put it into that. If you dribble more, you can put it into that. Fairly easy card to build up. Interception, no blocker, no real skills to shout home about. Um, yeah, it's kind of a difficult card to really recommend. But not bad. Costain goals. I played him in two games. He made two howlers for me. He was He's at level one. We haven't trained him up, but he's only got 19 levels. Listen, there's lots of better goalkeepers out there for GP. Do not buy this pack for them two players. Now, the rest of the back four is actually quite interesting. You've got Nuno Mendes here, who is pretty much one of the best fullbacks in the game. Speed, acceleration. He actually is a little bit low on the defense, but you can bring that up a little bit if you give him a uh, blocker, you give him interception, or he has interception, but if you give him blocker, that will, you know have a few animations. The game is so aggressive now that it's very difficult not to intercept the ball. Even if you try not to intercept the ball, there's going to be probably 30, 40 plus interceptions against a Division 1, Division 2 opponent, right? Speeding bullet play style, very, very nice. I played with him four games, had one assist, but just very, very decent. I mean, I still prefer probably a more attacking option if I'm playing uh, left, left back. Um, but yeah, as an attacking fullback goes, good dribbling, tight possession, ball control, balance, stamina, speed, acceleration, kicking power. Fairly average uh, aggression and defensive awareness and tackling. So it's nothing to be to be uh, shouted home about either too much, right? This is the build. 00128506. Don't try and turn him into a defensive uh, behemoth. He just won't. Pepe. This is the build we've gone for Pepe. One big problem with this pack is that Pepe and Diaz are both destroyers. So a double destroyer uh, in your center backs 
can be very risky, as we found out on live stream the other day, with the way the game is at the moment. We get his speed past 75. Obviously, we're going to be getting the boost to physical contact as well with this manager, and we're going to be playing long balls, so it's going to suit Pepe a little bit more for those passes, just to hoof the ball up and always have a man up there. 96, 90, 99 aggression and 95 engagement. We had to go with the 99 aggression, lads, honestly. 0, 0, 0, 7 into lower body, 8 into aerial, 9 into defending, and 1 into jump, which is goalkeeper 1. It's a pity that Pepe only has 20 levels, as I genuinely think he could have been a 99 overall centre-back with 80 speed and pretty much, you know, 95 tackling, and he would have been a beast. He would have been really fun. But honestly, him and Ruben Diaz, absolute beasting for me the other day on the stream, really playing above their, 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 uh, their stats and their skills. Ruben Diaz doesn't even have blocker, and he was coming out with ball after ball after ball after ball after ball. It was ridiculous. Kind of remind me of Nemanja Vidic when he was playing at United. That's a throwback going way back. But kind of that really tigerish, really high aggression, 97 aggression, but also only has 77 speed. So very balanced destroyers, even though they don't have that real defensive capabilities about them. Physically, very, very strong, jumping, stamina, heading, everything very well balanced there. And that's the build that we went for. Again, five into decks. 6 into lower body, 6 into aerial, and 10 into defending. Again, a little bit disappointing that they only have 21 levels. If you were to have this guy at 25, 26 levels, holy moly lads, he would be a very good player. I mean, he would be getting the hoover out for a few people because I think he'd be frustrating to get past. And then last but not least, we do have um, Palinia and Vitinha up front. Now, I'm going with, to with, withhold actually training these guys up because I'm going to be doing a build on Polinia and Rice and all the kind of destroyer box-to-box -box players in midfield with these packs and I'm going to hold off on that I'm going to show you how to boost them up quite quickly but again 86 aggression straight off the rip tight possession low pass kick and power physical contact stamina speed and acceleration are a big issue with this card but he does have a lot of good player skills man marking area superiority interception Give him blocker, he's going to clog up those passing lanes for you. And of course, he has weak foot, accuracy high, with form unwavering. Pretty decent, not a bad card. Vitinha kind of reminds me a little bit of like Valverde, or those type of cards. Doesn't have the engine, but has good acceleration, not much speed and stamina for where you'd want it to be, especially the speed. 69 speed, that's way too low for what it needs to be. But it's still a decent card. I mean, he's got a kind of ball playing kind of um, style about him. You only need to give him flip flap and that's going to unlock the ball roll for him. True pass and weighted pass, one touch pass and long range curler. Pretty decent card as well. Low lofted pass, you could give him that as well. On to the forwards, we've got João Felix playing as kind of the, 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 the top of the spear, you could say. Look at these stats, man. 91 type possession, dribbling, 90 ball control, 90 speed, 91 acceleration, and 90 balance. Perfect. The only thing he's lacking is, is 80 plus finishing or 85 plus low pass, which I kind of think you need on your creative or whole plane attacking midfielders. 4, 4, 5, 11, 11. Very easy build. If you don't have any other versions of Joe Felix, he can be extremely underrated in the game and he can beast for you. Very, very nice with that high weak foot accuracy as well. Even though his form is standard, that doesn't really kill it too much. And of course, he's got some beautiful player skills as well. Add flip flap to him and you've got ball roll. On to kind of the picks of the pack, lads, we have Rafael Leao. Now, I'm going to compare this Rafael Leao with the base version of this Leao. Now, this is obviously whole player versus prolific winger. You've got the big time premium kinds only Rafael Leao here versus the P Portugal pack on the left, okay? So there's no real comparison. They're both different play styles, but this is what they are at level one each, okay? Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass is going to be phenomenally higher on Rafael Leao, the, the, the whole player. Finishing off the rip is 81. His speed and acceleration is actually a little bit lower than this Portuguese Rafael Leao. But this is kind of what you're going to be training him up for. You're not going to get the full package with this Rafael Leao on the left, the Portuguese one. That can be said the same for this Cristiano Ronaldo, right? This Ronaldo here is very, very solid. We've him trained up max, and we're going to show you versus the free Cristiano Ronaldo. So they're both goal poachers, obviously both same height, weight, everything. Attacking awareness on the new Portuguese Cristiano Ronaldo is absolutely killer. Lads, Ronaldo was scoring hat-tricks for me, scoring, you know, left foot, right foot, headers, free kicks. He really was brilliant. I don't know if this Portugal card is just nerfed or is just buffed, um, and every other version of him is, is nerfed, but this is an amazing, amazing card. Now, obviously, he doesn't have as much finishing. He also doesn't have as much dribbling, and the big killer for this card is the balance. And you can see here on both of these cards, it doesn't go past 80 
But the 80 on this guy, on the left, the Portugal version of him, it is slightly a little bit more run and gun. He's an all-rounder. Kind of reminds me of Diego Forlan a little bit, where you're literally just leaving the AI get into the positions. And we'll show you the build for this Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a very solid card. 88 acceleration, 80 balance. It is a very nice card. I had a lot of fun with this 7-0-4-14-6-0-0-0 build of him. We haven't given him any skills, but he has... Pretty much everything that you could want, apart from outside curler. And of course, long range curler if you want to give him that. And one touch pass is a necessity on this card as well. That ends us with Ramos here as well. So this card, we haven't trained him up. Uh, we're not going to probably train him up either. 22 levels is a bit of a bust. His balance, his tight possession, his speed, stamina, everything is going to need, or speed acceleration is going to need a boost. His stamina is 86, which is huge. But as a center forward or as an SS or something like that, he does have track back and one touch pass. It's just a bit of a weird card, man. You know, any card that doesn't have more than 25 levels, they need to have exceptional stats off the rip, at least three to four per their position. If he had tight possession at 80 and balance at 80, this card might be worth it because you probably get all his main stats into the 90 category. He's got a good height to weight ratio for those animations. And I definitely feel you could run and gun with him. But yeah, my picks of the pack are definitely Leao, Ronaldo, Felix, Pepe and Ruben Diaz with Nuno Mendes bringing it up as well. Jao Felix is really, really good, lads. He is very, very good if you've never played with him before. Overall, in terms of this manager here, I think for Martinez, plus one to physical contact. The team play style proficiency, not as fluid or not as much variety as Southgate and the Champs, which are probably the best managers to go for. But then again, the Champs is 1,500 coins with the pack and Southgate is 900, so it puts them on equal footing with this. But I think you're getting arguably equal if not better defenders and strikers with this, because you're missing Harry Kane on the English pack, you're missing Saka, you're missing Kyle Walker, Luke Shaw, you're missing a couple of those guys in the English pack, whereas if you're looking for destroyer centre-backs, you're not playing the game this that long, this is a fantastic back four if you can get this back four. Midfield, you can upgrade, have Joe Felix playing off the, off, the, off the right, you can switch that very easily, take out Ramos here, and just have another attacking midfielder there. You've got a very good attacking three, and attacking four at, the, four at the back here. So, let me know what you guys think. I still think the England pack gives my more thumbs up because it's a disappointing version of Ronaldo compared to other versions of Ronaldo. They haven't ever really done Ronaldo justice, lads. They need to bring back a beastly end-game, brilliant version of Ronaldo, whether that's a prime legend card or something like that. I definitely think. Smash that like button if you agree. Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. And we'll try and get it to happen, hopefully, with a bit of... Um, Look, we will get a brand new, you know, Ronaldo card soon. But until next time, lads, I've done all the other reviews. Turkey and Brazil next. Let me know what you guys think of these reviews with the in-game player builds. Or do you want to go off to the other player builds? And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Peace.